Hello from Lucknow, one of Uttar Pradesh's largest cities. I've now finished the tour of Uttar Pradesh and the Kumela with my group with Lonely Planet India magazine. And now I'm just exploring Lucknow, the city I was staying in on my own for a few hours before my flight out of India tonight at 8 p.m. I'm just gonna roam around and visit a few places of interest in this very historic city with incredible architecture in every direction. And I'm starting at the Barra Imambara, which is one of the city's most well-known places. Really nice gardens here just before you enter. The Imambara, if you're not sure, is actually a congregation hall for Shia Muslims, but Friday prayer doesn't always take place here. Built in the mid 19th century, here in the city of Nawab's, Lucknow's nickname. rupees for a foreigner to enter. What an incredible looking mosque behind me. Currently being restored I believe. You can hear the sound of the call to prayer. I always love the extremely rustic look of the mosques that I've seen in northern India in places like Delhi and Agra and now here in Lucknow. It has that tinge of redness and I like the fact that it's not overly polished along with a lot of the buildings in northern India especially with Mughal design So I've now left the Barra Imambara and the mosque next to it and heading further down this main road here in Lucknow which leads past a few underpasses. It's quite a nice walk to take along in the centre of the city according to a few people I met on my tour of the Kumela. So going by some recommendations of routes to take. So the one I just passed under is Rumi Gate and you can see that the traffic is still passing underneath it as well today, which I quite like. Around a kilometer, half a kilometer walk to the next gate. You never know what you're gonna come across in India. And I was just walking down the road that I was on to the next gate. And then I heard all this noise and sound coming from this direction. So I turned off on this street and there's loads of people throwing paint at each other, all completely in pink. careful not to get too close because I know they were all gonna splatter me with paint. They were offering it and I was like, no, 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 please, please don't. My camera, I have a flight <laughs> to catch. I would so have loved to join in. I have to come back one day for Holly. I think it's a wedding, but someone in the comments can let me know if it's a different type of celebration. Pretty sure it's something to do with a wedding though. So I'm now continuing back on the same road that I was on before. Here is the Husseinabad clock tower, 1881 and among the tallest in India, just beside the clock tower, Gantar Gartalab. More rustic feel to it.
also walk down the road outside the Barra at Mambra where I started this video underneath those series of gates and you'll eventually reach Chota in Mambra. As a foreigner for your 500 rupee entrance to the Barra at Mambra you can use the same ticket and get into this one for free. It's a completely different look and feel all in white it's another great monument here in Lucknow. You'll see there are wires everywhere. And there's a reason for that. If you come at night time, it looks spectacular. Just look on Google images of the Chota Imambra at night time. You'll see what I mean. Obviously, I'm not here at night, so I can't do that. Just like many other Mughal designs of the same era, famous places such as the Taj Mahal and the Red Fort, they all have the water running down the middle and gardens and flowers on either side. So I just grabbed an Uber to Moti Mahal which is on the other side of the city and it's one of the oldest restaurant chains in India. Over a hundred years in fact. You can see the chat outside here. Food is extremely famous here in Lucknow, particularly biryani and kebab. Also got all these different sweets as well. This is halva. Gulab jamun. Check it out. That is huge. So I'm now here inside the Moti Mahal and I've just ordered a few things. Beginning with the samosa chole. And it comes with this green type of sauce and also some curd as well. Just to get things started, I'm really hungry so I've ordered a little bit more than just this. Getting into the samosa and I'm gonna add some of this green sauce here. Mm. My veg burgers just arrived. Check this thing out. Okay, thank you. I'm pressing this out. Indian style veg burger. Oh my god. It's got paneer in there as well. The presentation is amazing. I'm just gonna get completely stuck in. Mm. I did not expect the middle to be so crunchy. This part is deep fried. Paneer on top as well, and in the middle. There's a little bit of sweet, or I would say chili sauce in there too. Which gives it a kick. I love how the bread has been fried as well. So I'm now wrapping things up with a kofi faluda. The faluda are these jelly-like noodles, very similar to chendol, and the faluda is okay, has a nice texture, kind of just slippery and <laughs> goes well with ice cream, which is what I've got with kulfi, strong cardamom, rich flavour, sweet, rich and nutty. I think this is an almond flavour. Really good. Such a colourful looking dish here. There are also a few nuts inside the whole thing. So that was it there for the footage I got in Lucknow before having to take my flight. There was another place I really wanted to visit in the city where the first ever uprising happened against the British colonials after the Muslims and Hindus of the British Raj in the forces were asked to use pork fat in their rifles and as such they protested and it was the first ever stance against the British, the Siege of Lucknow and was a very famous event in India's nationalist history and you can visit the place in Lucknow. I didn't have time so I'd love to go back one day and visit that place particularly as I'm British and it has a lot of history involved with my own uh, country. Anyway, before I wrap up this video, I want to talk about Movavi Video Editor. It's a video editing software that I think might be useful for any of you guys who are looking for something simple, fun and easy to use as aspiring travel vloggers, vloggers or just video makers in general. So let me just walk you through 
um, some of the things that you can use Movavi Video Editor for and some of its features. New project, as you can see here, it's all very slick and easy to read, very simple and convenient. So you can add your files here. I'm going to add just a few from this Lucknow vlog that you've just watched. So here you can see the main menu where we imported our files. The second one down is all of the different filters that are available to you. Some different featured ones, you can do oil paints, motion blurs, uh, different adjustments like fish eye perhaps, if you wanted that kind of look. After the filters, secondly, we have transitions which are available to you. All kinds of different things you can do between two scenes of your film or movie. Watch it in action. Following transitions, there are many different titles you can use. Featured, basic, artistic, intros, all the different ones including the effects packages once again. So you can see here I'm just going to insert a title over this particular clip because I think it's quite a good one to fit a title in and we can just write something like Lucknow City of Nawabs is the nickname. We will need to stabilize that clip. You can stabilize clips. Go to stabilization, stabilize, watch it do its magic. We can zoom in at certain moments of the clip using the tools for example. And when you want it to go in like that, you can blur faces. There are also different stickers we can use for our clips. For example, here we have objects, travel, love, emojis. Let's just say I enjoy this food in the clip. I could put the little thumbs up in there and tuck it somewhere in the corner. We can also make use of animated callouts or arrows. For example, that moment where I zoom in on the clip, I can also highlight the person that I wanted to. Overlays, if you want to talk over multiple times, you can do. Have multiple clips running, showing different food over what you're saying and have multiple titles and layers and music. It's quite good for that. It's all supposed to be very easy. Audio effects. In this particular section, you have a microphone here. You can change the saturation, the contrast, the colors of the video as well. Cropping certain images in the video that you're not happy with. Movavi video editing software can be used for both Mac and Windows. And by following my promo code JBT, which you can find in the video description, you will get 30% off Movavi. And also you will have 30% off the two sets of effects. One is the travel set coming with different customized titles, stickers that you can use on the video, and also the season set, which includes winter, spring, autumn, and summer, of course. So if you're interested in adding those sets to your Movavi video editor, they're also 30% off using my JBT code in the video description. So if you fancy using Movavi, go ahead there and uh, check it out. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video, which is coming from a different country. So stay tuned, we'll see you then. Peace.